Getting to, into a new format can be undaunting. There's a lot you have to learn. There's new card effects. It's almost like playing a completely different game. What I want to do is give you a couple ways in this video that you can get into Oathbreaker is the new format for you with just some simple tips of what to buy. Let's get into it. So there's a lot of products you can buy for Oathbreaker, but maybe the first one to focus on is one that's going to guarantee that you get a commander. In Oathbreaker, your commanders are planeswalkers, and buying a pack of War of the Spark guarantees that you get one Oathbreaker, one planeswalker, in every single booster pack. This is an excellent way to jumpstart your collection and to start collecting planeswalkers so that you can build a variety of decks. Now, as the cost of War of the Spark booster packs go up, this is going to be a little bit harder, but it is still a good entry point at this time. Secondly, be aware of what you actually have in your card collection. You may already have a great Planeswalker and a Commander deck that it would already fit into. Doing that would allow you to turn your Commander deck into a convertible. You can play it in Commander and you can play it in Oathbreaker by simply removing 40 cards from the deck. Third, I want to talk about a trend I have seen in Magic the Gathering lately that excites me. We've started to see tools like Spell Table include Oathbreaker is a format you can choose to play, which is amazing. If you have an investment in MTGO, you have the option to create your own format, test out Oathbreaker there, or if you've ever heard of Cockatrace, you can build a card library in Cockatrace and try to get games of Oathbreaker free online with your friends. This is not a bad way to test the format, especially if you're afraid of making a monetary investment and don't have a huge card collection. Finally, what I really want to talk about that really made me make this video is we are just getting so much excellent commander product now from Wizards of the Coast with every new set that sometimes these commander decks actually include a planeswalker in the right colors or in one of the colors of the deck. An excellent example is the brand new spirit deck out of Innistrad Crimson Vow. It has a Dovin Bond in white blue in the deck. Buying that deck for $31 to $41, give or take, already have a full commander deck and a full brand new out of the box Oathbreaker deck that you can just tune and build and practice with over time. The most important thing is to get a deck in your hands and then you can tune it later. And I'll talk about that in another video. But if you have tips, please let other people know in the comments below. I hope you guys have a great day, and remember, your Planeswalker Spark lights up my life.